There are two ways to develop automated systems with NinjaTrader. You can either use the point and click method if you aren't a programmer, or unlock the code and program everything yourself. The latter option requires some familiarity with the NinjaTrader platform and programming paradigms. However, almost anything you can do as a programmer in Ninja, you can do with the point and click interface. Let's walk through creating an automated system in Ninja using the visual interface provided. I'll click next here and the first thing it's going to ask me for is to name my strategy and give it a description. It's always a good idea to give it a description so that you know what you were thinking when you created this strategy so in case you ever want to come back to it. Calculate on bar close here simply means that this strategy is either going to calculate at the close of every bar, so say it's running on a five minute chart, every five minutes it's going to recalculate and see what it should do if anything or if you uncheck calculate on bar close it's gonna run real time and basically every tick that comes in it's gonna recalculate and that requires a lot more CPU power and it also is prone to a lot more errors because on one tick and you're doing just a simple SMA crossover strategy they could both be crossed over and then on the next tick they're not and you're already in the order when you didn't want to be so the calculate on bar close tends to be more accurate I'm gonna leave that checked I'll click next here and it seems I already have one name this so I'm just going to add a two to it. Now the first thing you're going to have are your user defined inputs and these can be anything you want and they don't just have to be integers. They can be double floating point numbers, they can be boolean, a lot of different things. Here I'm just simply putting what I'm going to want for my period on my SMA. I'm going to do a SMA crossover for this strategy and so I'm going to have a slow one and a fast one and by default my slow one's going to be 28 and my fast one is going to have a period of 14 and these are going to be what I check for my crossover but I don't want to just do a simple crossover strategy I also want to have the ADX involved to give me kind of a confirmation that the trend is going right so it would almost never happen if I didn't look back a few bars for a crossover because the ADX would be above 35 or whatever I use at one point but the crossover hasn't happened exactly when that happened so it's a good idea to have the bars look back and say well within the last five bars did these two cross over and is the ADX now above 35 well then yes I want to take the order and these don't just have to be for indicators and inputs like that you can also do them for stop losses and profit targets for now it's just indicators for me though our next step is to actually set up conditions and these are what the market should be doing in regards to your indicators and things like that before you take a trade so when I click add here I can choose from all the indicators I have available to me and I can set up the different criteria that they should have so at this point I'm saying the ADX my main thing it's kinda of like my filter is gonna be above a certain level and if you look on the right I went to user defined inputs and chose my ADX level. That's what I chose as an input parameter on the previous section. Now I need to add my SMA crossover. So I'm going to find the SMA indicator and I'm going to give it a period here but I'm going to use what I used for a user defined input in the previous slide as well. So my slow period if it crosses above my SMA on this side, I'm going to use an indicator for this side as well and so I'm going to go down, find SMA again, and this time this SMA is going to have a fast period. And I'm going to use the same input that I did before, only I'm going to use fast period. And in look back period, I want to have five. So we don't have to hap have this happen exactly every time. And I want both of these to plot on the chart so I can see them as my strategy is going and don't always have to add them. So there's my conditions. Now what happens when these conditions are met? Well down here it says do the following and you can add, you can just draw things on the chart, you can add alerts that email you. In this case I want it to actually take a trade. So I'm going to say enter long position and I'm going to give it a name so that I can have a different stop loss and profit target for each one. In step two I'm going to do basically the same thing. So I'm going to copy this, paste it here and instead of the slow SMA crossing above the fast MA I want it to be the other way. So I could rewrite this completely or I could just click cross below which is what I did. And now I just want to go short. So I'll add to my do the following 
not an exit short. I accidentally did an exit short here. I, I mean to enter a short position. And I'm going to give it a signal name as well. You don't have to give them signal names, but if you want separate profit targets and stop losses, you should. With these two things made, now I go next. Oh, one more thing. You can view the code. So if you're not a programmer but you're interested in what's going on or maybe want to push yourself a little bit further later, you can actually view the code without messing anything up and see exactly what it's writing for you. So eventually you can program your own things yourself and not have to use this. Here's what I want to add as far as targets go. You can add trailing stops, stop losses, and profit targets. I'm adding a profit target right now for my long entry and the mode I want it to go in ticks and then I'm just going to set how many ticks a profit target I want. Pretty simple. I'm going to do the same thing for the long. I'm going to add a stop that's half of what that is. So I'm going to choose the same signal name crossover long and my mode I'm going to choose ticks again and value I'm going to use half of what I had before and here's something interesting simulated true what that does is just simulates the stop loss on your computer it doesn't actually show live on the board so if you're worried about the big guy seeing your stops well that's a way to prevent it here I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to have a slightly larger profit target for my short side because the short side tends to move faster. And on my stop loss, I'm just going to do 50% of that again. One thing here is with the value, you can also use those user defined inputs we did in the first slide. So I can have one that's ticks, and I'm about to do one here in a second to show you. See here, I can select from my user defined inputs or these variables here. I'm just going to go ahead and hard code it in right now before I go back and this will be simulated as well. And now I'm going to go back and add one more input and that's basically my stop loss for the short side. I'll give it a little description and I'm going to set it to a default to 20 which is what I want mine to be anyway but this way I can modify it in the future and also optimize it in the strategy analyzer. So you can see here if I modify this I go to value and choose stop loss now I have a dynamic stop loss. When I click finish, I can now run this strategy. I can back test it, I can optimize it, get it better, find out things about it I didn't before, and eventually modify it to an automated system. So I'm going to choose the ES, I'm going to select back test, and then I'm going to find my strategy and run it on it. And the only thing I'm going to do is change my stop loss to 20 make it a five minute chart and I want this to run 24 7 not just during the open and close I'm going to add a little bit of slippage so I don't get too favorable of a result and we'll see what I come up with not very good but that's where this optimizer and back tester comes in you can actually see how well your strategy does so that's creating a strategy if you want to learn to make them better back test them optimize them walk forward optimize them please click on the appropriate link otherwise if you want to learn about other ninja trader features that you don't know about yet please click there thank you